The Philippines have been populated for a long time, but as we know, flags are something quite recent in the large picture of history. In ancient times, native population inhabited the Philippines, but they didn't have any flag. The closest thing we can find to a flag would be the symbols through which they represented themselves or through which they were depicted by historians, like this ancient painting or this ivory seal which seems to contain some symbols dating back to around 1002 found in Butuan. But all of this changed in 1521 when Portuguese explorer Magellan arrived in the Philippines and claimed the islands for Spain. So, technically, the first official flag of the Philippines would in fact be the Spanish colonial flag, which evolved a little throughout time. I have a video on the Spanish flag on my channel, so if you're interested, check that out. During Spanish occupation, there was also a British flag flying over the Philippines, the flag of the East India Trading Company, which flew during the brief British occupation of Manila from 1762 to 1764. However, despite Spanish colonialism, there were still a few natives in control of some regions, at least for some periods of time, and there were also attempts of revolt. So there are a few examples of native flags in this time, like the red pennant used by the Kingdom of Tondo, the plain yellow flag of the Sultanate of Maguindanao, the flag of the Silang Revolt, the Sulu Sultanate, the Bazi Revolt, and some provincial ensigns. Their second official flag was also a foreign one. After being ruled by the Spanish, the islands were ceded by Spain to the United States of America because of their defeat in the Spanish-American War, which ended in 1898. In return, the US paid a sum of $20 million to Spain. During this time, there was an attempt by locals to create a free Philippine Republic, and this movement counted with the support of many groups and factions inside the Philippines, which had their own flags, the majority of which were red with some white symbols in the center, like the flag of the Magdalo Katipunan faction, the flag of the Tagalog Republic, the Sultanate of Sulu, which was still around and occupied only a bit of territory in the Philippines, the Zamboanga Republic, or the flag of the Republic of Biak Nabato. This last one was the first official flag of the Philippine Republic and was used during the Philippine Revolution. But there was also the main independence flag, if you will, the flag of the first Philippine Republic, which resembles today's flag. It was flown the first time in a skirmish against Spanish troops. The Filipino forces were led by General Aguinaldo, who had been in exile in Hong Kong and had brought this revolutionary flag with him to represent the independence movement. It contains a mythical sun with a face similar to the sun of May in other former Spanish colonies, the triangle of Freemasonry and the eight rays representing the eight rebellious provinces against the Spanish. The three stars represent the three main islands. The flag carries the text in Spanish saying expeditionary forces of northern Luzon and on the back it says freedom, justice and equality. But the problem here was that the US weren't very happy with the idea of a free Philippines. So when they received the islands from the Spanish, they imposed direct administration all the way until 1919, using their own national flag to represent the islands. Finally, in 1919, the Philippines got their own official flag using the previous design by the General Emilio Aguinaldo but with a few changes. The tones of the red and blue were to match the ones on the American flag, and the sun's face was removed, and the Spanish text was also not present. However, these specifications weren't made official, so a lot of variants of the flag flew all over the Philippines. In 1936, these specifications were finally codified. The shade of the colors, the fact that the white triangle should be equilateral and that the rays of the sun should be somewhat simplified. And this was the flag in use until the 1940s. But then came World War II. During the war, the Philippines were put right in the center of the Pacific theater of war. 
being a puppet or an ally, if you will, of the US, they were put in direct conflict with the Japanese and targeted by the Empire in their expansion towards Southeast Asia. So, from 1942 to 1943, part of the Philippines flew the Japanese flag due to foreign occupation. The government in exile, however, continued to fly the Philippine national flag. In 1943, the Second Philippine Republic was inaugurated using that same flag. After the war, the US granted the Philippines their independence, and throughout the rest of the 20th century, the country altered the flag a little, mostly in the colors department, eventually reverting back to the original colors of Aguinaldo's design, previous to American administration. So, in 1998, the current flag was made official and permanent, as the flag of the Republic of the Philippines. As for the meaning of the flag, according to the Proclamation of Independence, the white triangle signifies the emblem of the Katipunan, the secret society that opposed Spanish rule. The colors commemorate the flag of the United States as a manifestation of gratitude for American aid against the Spanish during the Philippine Revolution. The three stars represent the three main islands, Luzon, Mindanao and Panay, also Visayas and the sun represents the gigantic steps made by the sons of the country along the path of progress and civilization, while the eight rays represent the eight provinces which originally rebelled against Spanish rule. But the sun is also likely to be the remain of the Sun of May, which was somewhat influenced by Spanish rule or by ancient native populations. The origin of these symbols is also quite interesting. Although obviously up for debate, there is an official explanation on the Philippines government website, which states it was like this, having some influence from Southern America flags, from the US flag, masonry, and even some local port flags in the Philippines. There's also a theory for which I could find no real confirmation that the flag's design was originally inspired by that of the Cuban flag. Recently, an argument has been made by the province of Zambales that they were also part of the original revolt and therefore the sun on the flag should be modified to accommodate a ninth ray and the Quezon province has done the same. Another defender for the addition of a ninth ray are the Moro people, the Muslim natives of the islands which claim that a new ray could be added in their representation. So if all wishes are accommodated, the flag could end up with not 9 but 11 rays. Other proposals ask for the addition of a fourth star to represent North Borneo, a territory claimed by the Philippines but currently under Malaysian rule, and this addition would mean the changing of the triangle into a rectangle. And some even say that a crescent moon should be added to the flag, perhaps to represent the Muslim population in the country. So who knows, maybe the Philippine flag could eventually look like one of these. Like any other country, there are also administration flags, public office flags, military flags, and regional flags, each with their own significance and meaning, and references to the country's history and culture. So that is the flag of the Philippines, two red and blue lines with a white triangle, three golden stars, and a golden sun with eight rays. Thanks for watching the video. If you notice any mistake or have any additional information, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Subscribe if you want to catch more fun with flags videos and I will see you next time.